Hi everyone, it's December 17, 2008. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is The Schmuck Look. Uh, for those of you who, I think I'm right on this, it isn't marked on the calendar anymore, but isn't this the day that would live in infamy? December 17th, Pearl Harbor Day. Does anybody remember history? You know, everybody claims and claimed the Japanese attacked without warning. Hell, we wrote the book for them, and that's a historical fact. An admiral, I think it was, or a general, wrote a book back in the late 1920s, early 1930s, and the Japanese followed the blueprint exactly. See what happens when you have free flow of information. Sometimes your best friends are your worst enemies. Speaking of which, how many are following this Ponzi scheme by Mr. Madoff? Oh, yeah, <laughs> how about it? The big investors, the millionaires got built, and now there's a cry, an uproar. Oh, dear, isn't his name amusing, though, because he made off with the gold. And I'd like to thank you, NRPS, for that. And he made off with the gold. Yeah, he's bankrupt. What are you going to do? He's 70. Oh, he can get 10, 20 years in jail. Whoopee ding dong. Yahoo, Yahoo. He lived the high life for a long time, since the 60s. And, you know, and now it's coming to light that there have been warnings for nine years that the SEC <coughs> conveniently didn't look into. Isn't that nice of the watchdogs not to watch? Oh, but he's rich, so, you know, we'll cut him a break. Yeah, he, he's a rich thief. He's still a thief. Remember that. I also was amused at George Bush saying, So what? And Dick Cheney saying, Okay, we didn't find any weapons of mass destruction, but, you know, he had the capability. You know... A 10th, 11th grade chemistry student has that capability. Does that mean we hang them all? There are days that I'm in favor of that, but, you know, realistically, nah. And you know, let's face it, so we started a civil war, and we've killed hundreds of thousands of people, and as the shoe-throwing incident shows, we've not made a lot of friends. And, by the way, there has been much made. The other day on YouTube, there was hundreds, literally, of reports, you know, people putting this on, making sure that everybody saw it. You know, my immediate response was, oh, golly, darn, he missed. Well, of course he missed. George used to be a drinker. What does the two have in common? <laughs> it's just this, folks. You know, you come home late at night once too often, particularly with a Texas bride, hell, any strong-willed woman, something's going to get thrown at you. You learn to duck. And, as we have seen on the video, George is a good ducker. Hey, what the hell? He's got to be good at something. Because it sure wasn't running the country. You know, and it brings to mind what really is going on here. We got into this idiocy in the Mideast because the guys on top didn't want us to know we were about to break the bank. So what did they do? They helped break it by spending trillions of dollars and getting us nothing. Thanks, guys. Glad you're soon gone. I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's today's Schmuck Look. Peace, folks. <laughs>